Before I start, I just want to tell you that nothing in this movie is true. As the Book of Bokanon says, live by the FOMA that makes you brave and kind and healthy and happy. Call me Jonah. My parents did, or nearly did. They called me John. Jonah, John. If I had been a Sam, I would have been a Jonah still. Not just because I have been unlucky for others, but because somebody or something has compelled me to be certain places at certain times without failure. Conveyances and motives, both conventional and bizarre, have been provided. And according to plan, at each appointed second, at each appointed place, this Jonah was there. Sometimes I wonder if he wasn't born dead. I never met a man who was less interested in the living. Sometimes I think that's the trouble with the world. Too many people in high places were stone, cold, and dead. See this man? This is Papa Manzano, the leader of a small island called San Lorenzo, where Boganonism was originated and soon banned. This was the first time I realized that Ice Nine could be the death of a leader, but also it could become a birth of a new leader, and that leader was me. I never experienced a sensation like this before. I finally touched the soul of Mona. Bokumara was different from anything I've ever witnessed before. I was Christian, but once I moved to San Lorenzo, I became a Bokunana. In that bowl were thousands upon thousands of dead. On the lips of each decedent was the blue-white frost of Ice Nine. See the cat, see the cradle.